All right. Hey, everybody. Good morning. So we got a lot going on in the world. And these calls on Wednesdays that are 1111 are for holding a higher state of consciousness and vibrating with as much light as we can and emanating that light out onto the planet. And I know there's a lot happening and it's continuing to take place and it, it will continue to escalate as we have talked about. And so being centered and grounded and connected and continuing to raise our consciousness, as we know, is super important. So that's why I'm here and that's why you're here and that's what we're doing. So I'm going to bring Raphael in this morning and we're going to tap in with that. And, and the plan today is to really connect with the I am that I am presence with the highest aspect of who we are and begin to calibrate with that as much as we can. And then, you know, there's a lot going on uh, in our climate, um, a lot of fires uh, in Europe and heat waves and fires on the West Coast and droughts. And we haven't even moved into hurricane season yet here or fire season. So it's a lot and it can feel intense and overwhelming. Um, and so as we connect with the I am that I am presence for ourselves to get centered and to get grounded today, let's go into those who we all have power, right? We all have the capacity to take action, to have a voice, um, to stand up for the earth. We're working right now with the earth star. Uh, which is grounding down into the earth, remembering our connection to the earth, that we're not separate, that we're connected to all the beautiful birds and the animals and the fish and the dolphins and the whales and the snakes. And, and that we've lost our connection with that. And when we're disconnected from the earth and we're disconnected from the web of life, Un we become more and more unconscious and the more unconscious we become as a collective species, the more we do things that are damaging to her. And uh, then we are seeing the effects of that damage and it can be intense and overwhelming. And this is not for us to feel blame or shame or any of those things, but to just reconnect with the earth and send her our love and appreciation for her being our home because nothing else is going to make matter at all how much money we have what the economy is doing none of that will make any difference if we don't have a place to live if we don't have air to breathe if we don't have water to drink and if our children can enjoy this magnificent planet it's nothing else really matters. So I think that today that is the place to put our energy and our attention energetically. And we are energy beings and we are powerful. And as we radiate our light and we send our love to the earth, she feels that love and it gives her stamina and stability. And we're moving into a whole new octave. We're birthing something new. And part of that is this deep letting go and releasing of old behaviors, old paradigms, collectively and personally, um, and ways of being. And as we go through it, sometimes it's just filled with joy and peace, and we feel like we're in heaven on earth, and other times it's hard. And it's important to also recognize the times when it's hard and to acknowledge them, not to push it down, not to repress it, and not to pretend that everything is okay. So it's this fine balance between holding the light, not putting our attention on negative news, not focusing in on that, um, and also being aware of what's happening right now where I'm sitting. It literally looks, I'm looking out the window into the ocean, and it, 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 it is heaven on earth. I see seals up on the rocks. I see a seagull going by. A sailboat is in my view. It is spectacular. 
And so I'm, I'm putting my energy there. I've manifested and created that reality and it's beautiful. And at the same time, I'm aware that there are people right now whose villages are burning, who don't have enough water and are going through a really hard time. So it's this balance, right? Of, of holding the vibration and creating our reality, moving into heaven on earth, but not ignoring other planes of timelines and existences that are playing out and giving that our attention and our love to, to hold the vibration that we're holding for them to move into the same as we move into the 5D. And so that's what we're doing. We are collectively as an entire group of beings moving into literally a new dimension. It's like we're shedding the skin like a snake. And in that, we're in that shedding process right now. So we're going to, I'm going to bring in Raphael. We're going to do a meditation. We're going to tap into the I am that I am feel and connect with the beauty, the majesty, the appreciation for earth and how magnificent it is. And then at the same time, um, yes, I will put down the toning. Um, we will at the same time, um, sorry, I got distracted there. Let's go into and tap into those who have the most influence right now, whether that be um, government officials, scientists, uh, new technologies, um, healers, whatever it is, that have the ability through either their vote, through an action, through a discovery, to make a difference, to make the earth a priority, and um, and to get out all of this incredible vibrational and quantum technologies and things that we can do to bring things back into balance. Um, there's so much out there. We just need to like make it a priority, right? Harness it, use it and, and, and get it going. Like get this engine moving forward. Okay. So really quick. Um, yes, I will be turning off my mic as I tune massive fire in Athens last night. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people are really feeling this right now. So, all right, I'm going to tone for those of you who know me in the process, you won't hear me for a few minutes uh, as I'm toning. That's going to help us uh, regulate the sound better. And then I'll be right back. Okay, my computer's doing something weird. All right, here we go. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Ah, ah, ah. We are delighted to be here with you from the angelic realm as I am Archangel Raphael and it is an Archangel Michael is here presently as well as Saint Germain and the violet flame of transmutation as we are hearing you speak of transmutation as you are witnessing the burning and the purifying of the old and we are witnessing this and the pain and the sorrow that is uh, taking place and occurring for many in the human form and in the animal kingdom as they are scurrying about and the trees and so on. And so it is that we want to remind you of how powerful it is that you are and your capacity through your intent and time to take a few moments today to address issues of concern and to bring your love and to radiate light from your heart. And it is 
is that as the energies continue to accelerate uh, and uh, things speed up a bit, which they shall, it is uh, of the utmost importance, as you are very well aware, as we have been working with the Earth Star activation to stabilize oneself, to attune to the cord of light that moves from your solar plexus and is anchoring you into the Earth Star as it expands like a portal moving you through time in to the fifth dimension where you reside and become more familiar with the vibration of heaven on earth. And as that vibration is more assimilated into the molecular structure and the energetic field of your being and even in your DNA, it begins to awaken you to a much deeper connection to the earth. And in that awakening, you will be receiving receiving messages and attuning to outside influence and support from perhaps maybe we could label it in this particular transmission as the star seeds and star brothers who are here to assist for as a human race often you may feel isolated and alone on the earth as if uh, uh, the troubles in front of you or for you alone to solve. But there are vibrations and energies such as myself and those from other realms who are here to support and help. We want to remind you of your ability to attune and to ask us to come and to deliver healing and miracles. However, you must remind yourself and remember that these miracles and healing and moving into this new frequency are possible. But when you lie in in doubt and in forgetting of the power that resides within you and your connection to higher frequencies, delving into a sense of hopelessness and wondering what will take place, you are adding to that in which you are perceiving. And although it is important for you to have conscious awareness of what is occurring so that you may have intent in the transmutation of it. Um, it is of greater importance at this time to hold the highest frequency of heaven on earth as possible, continuing to radiate that particular vibration across the globe. Um, and so I come to you as Archangel Raphael, as uh, the angel of healing to support you in healing in your own body, in your own physical, emotional, and mental self as you recognize that the mirror of what is occurring on earth is no different than what is taking place within your own personal life and experience for situations will continue to arise and come into the forefront of who it is and where it is that you are for healing and transmutation to take place on all levels. It is of importance not to put your head in the sand or to ignore these particular patterns or or habitual vibrations that continually repeat themselves as life themes in your life, but to address them now. For this is the time now to take action to heal yourself, whether it be from a behavior that you continue to do that within yourself, you know, is not in alignment with your highest nature, whether it be uh, an addiction, whether it be a connection in a relationship that needs forgiveness and support and love, whether it needs a, a fire underneath you to get you propelling in an action forward manner toward a dream in which you have had, whatever it is, this is the time. To, to utilize this uh, energy that is so powerful right now, that is changing and moving the energy on the planet, that is creating so much transition that uh, uh, from the outside perspective, and uh, you often see it as destructive. This is also very powerful energy. It has much momentum and you can align with it. You can line up with it and it can propel you forward in a direction of transmutation for self, healing for self, action toward your dreams. And so utilize this as you will be moving into August, you will be 
be connecting with the Lion Gate portal on 8-8, something that I have a very deep affinity for and will want to work with you, uh, for it is of deep and great importance for another portal, another big gateway, an opening into higher perspectives, higher dimensions, higher realms, moving forward and harnessing and utilizing the power that is also creating this change that at times, um, ow, 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 there is a noise, one moment. an interruption on an energetic level here from uh, technology. We are recalibrating to the body. Uh, and it is that uh, this energy, this power that is coming in is uh, very much accessible to you to propel you forward. So it is imperative that you attune to the I am that I am daily and regularly, recognizing this process, this aspect of who it is you are. So take a moment now and a nice deep breath and begin to bring your attention as you are tuning to the I am that I am presence. The I am that I am presence is you in the highest aspect of who you are. It is a bit taller than you. He or she is shimmering with light completely vital, perfectly healthy, very strong, filled with courage, uh, radiating unconditional love, beginning to attune now to that energy, feeling its vibration, and summoning and asking it to come in closer to your auric field of where it is you are in this now moment, so that you can begin to radiate uh, uh, love to it. For as you acknowledge the I am that I am, as you open your heart and send love to the I am that I am, you expand its capacity, you expand its ability, you expand your connection to it, um, just as you send love to the earth and adore her and honor her, she sends that love back to you a million fold, it is the same with the I am that I am, opening your heart now, wide as you can, bringing your shoulders back, moving and opening up, Releasing now in this now moment any old energy. Breathing all the way in and letting go any old patterns, releasing them, handing them over to the I am that I am. Anything in this now moment that is of concern to you in your body, physically, in your emotional thoughts, Anything in which you are worrying about or trying to fix or figure out, begin to attune to its energy, whatever it may be, feeling the quality of it. Begin to bring it into a sphere as if it is a ball of light. And attuning to it, you may bring your hand to that presence of whatever that energy is, the quality and the vibration of it, and simply hand it over to the I am that I am. Is the I am that I am presence knows how to take care of this, how to heal this, how to shift this, how to transmute it, how to hold it in so much love that it simply dissipates and merges with all that is. Um, for the I am that I am is your friend, your partner, your lover. You're the I am that I am is there for you in any moment at any given time to completely and absolutely take care of whatever needs to take being taken care of, of in the willingness for you to surrender and the willingness for you to let go and the willingness for you to hand over to the I am that I am fully and completely trusting in whatever is taking place and unfolding in the divine perfection of it moving into gratitude for what is now 
and bringing love to it, knowing in complete and absolute trust that the I am that I am has it handled. You can wash your hands of it now. You don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to fix it. But you do have to let go. And you do have to trust in the I am that I am presence. And in the complete and absolute trusting that it is handling this, it is. And you will begin to see solutions and miracles understandings, forgiveness, joy, and love come into your experience as you let go. Noticing anywhere in your body where there may be resistance, doubt, skepticism, Inviting the I am that I am into those energies, into the quality of those vibrations, lifting them up. You can move it with your hands or you can watch it within your being, lifting it up and allowing it now to up and out as the I am that I am consumes it, transmutes it, heals it and loves it, knowing that it is taken care of. With that now, as you are connected with the I am that I am presence, you are floating in a grid, a grid around your earth, the new starseed grid that has been born, that is present, that is growing stronger and vital every single day, connecting you to light beings and workers across the globe, connecting all of you listening to this and now, this now moment at any time in the future, to all the beings who choose love over fear, to all the beings who see light, to all the beings who want heaven on earth, to all the beings ready to move into the 5D, connecting you to create a strong web of light across the globe, radiating love. And from that web of light, wherever you are right now on the earth, whatever location and geographical place that you are at, Know that the light that you radiate and hold as you merge with the I am that I am presence is an anchor for the grid of love on the earth. So, and you may travel along this grid as you move up and into it, utilizing your Merkabah, traveling across the grid, and you may be called in this now moment to do work of service. Take a moment of a deep breath and ask, that you are called to a leader on the earth in some particular place or country. It may be in a government or in the United Nations. It may be a, a scientist. It might be a corporation. Someone that has great influence over supporting the healing of the earth. Someone who can really with one decision, one act, have an enormous impact that the earth has a chance to thrive. You will be called to them. They will summon you in a sense for they need your help to rise and to raise their own vibration to that of love and unity. Take a moment and feel yourself being called. You will know where to go. You will find yourself beside them, not near their body, but connected to their I am that I am. And from one I am, I am presence to another. You will open your heart now and you will send them love. And you will send them images of the earth. Bring into your awareness the most magical moment that you have ever had on earth. Whatever comes to mind, it may have been the sunrise or the sunset. It may have been swimming in the ocean, walking in the forest, looking up uh, in the desert at the night sky. Whatever it may be. A moment in which you were in awe of the beauty of the flowers, the buzzing of the bees or the birds. Uh, attuning to this moment of pure deliciousness of heaven on earth, 
And I want you to take that image and I want you to hand it to the I am that I am presence of the person you are called to so that they too may begin to resonate with that, that they may bring into their awareness a precious moment of their own, that they may begin to recognize their power and their capacity to help the earth and humanity to bring healing to bring balance, to prioritize over their own interest and their own ego, the earth, their children, their grandchildren, and generations to come. May you go into their heart now and soften it not by reprimanding them or by being angry or even forgiving them, but simply by loving them. Sending a big ball of pink light into their heart and softening it. Softening their heart so they too can see the bigger picture. to remember that they are love and that they are here on a mission to make a difference, to help, asking them to do the right thing, to help the earth. And knowing now that they have heard you in the I am that I am presence has heard you, that their heart is softer. Thank them now for their contribution. You may bring your awareness back to the, your own I am that I am presence. Bringing your hand now to your heart, one or two hands putting a smile on your face, remembering to love who it is that you are, saying out loud in this now moment, I love you to yourself. I love you. I love you. I am strong. I am powerful. I am courageous. I am loving, I am conscious, I am a being of light. And wherever I go, I may radiate my light today. I may see the light in others. I may love and honor the earth. I may take action and do what I can to help. And I will trust that all is divinely perfect. And then I will ask the I am that I am presence to take care of things as I surrender it to it. And I will know and feel within my being that I am not alone and that there are legions of angels and beings of light who love me and are here during this time. All I have to do is ask. And so it is. And with that, I ask you to just allow the energy you're feeling now, the vibration of love, to pour into every crevice of your auric field. And all the colors are vital and vibrant, that your vibration is high. You are grounded and connected. And that today will be a magnificent day. If you choose it to be. And so it is. Taking a nice deep breath, bring your awareness into the presence of the now. Good.
who are loved. that we got this. Thank you so much for joining this morning. These are free every Wednesday at 11.11. Share it with your friends and community. We're going to be working with the Starseed Origin Key Code. It begins August 1st for two weeks. You can go to my link tree on Instagram to register or I'll send an email. It's going to be very powerful. I'm going to be connecting with very high beings of light, harnessing that energy for help. Powerful key code. If you want to join us, I'd love to have you in the last two weeks. Otherwise, the I Am membership, you get all 33 key codes in that all right i'll see i will not be doing my call on sunday um i'm on vacation with my family so i will not see you guys next week but i'm sending you all lots of love and many blessings okay let me unmute you we'll call it a day thank you kelly thank you kelly thank you guys thank you kelly Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. 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 Much love. Thank you. Thank, much you love. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you. you. And, love and you. Casey as well, if he's in the background there, he's a good guy. Like oh, him. he is a good guy. He gets here tomorrow. Yeah. I can't That's wait. Beautiful. Amen. All right. your family. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Adios. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take good care, Kelly. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks, everybody. God Thank bless you. you. Big hugs. Love you. Big hugs. All right. I'm going to hang up. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Yeah.